There were one that I think were life. Yeah, it looks good. So I guess I'll, I'll make this a habit of maybe doing this weekly and giving you all uh, an overview about what I've been up to and what I've been sculpting. So in this case, this is the update on the current state of um, another sculpt that's probably going to be released. <coughs> Found um, a guy on art station that made um, those artworks and I asked him if it's okay to make a sculpt out of it. So we will see if this will be um, commercially available, but um, even if not, it's gonna be, or it's already really fun to sculpt this. And it's a, a nice design. Really cool design. So yeah guys, how's it going? If you are in chat, feel free to drop me a line and ask questions or whatever is on your mind. Hey Extro, um, yes it is Super Sculpey Firm. Let me just switch the camera angle around a bit. Uh, yeah, so I used the firm Super Scopy, and I prefer it to any anything else really because you can uh, what's the word? Yeah, you can bake it, and up until you bake it, it's actually workable for a long time. Um, yeah, and for when I have to send it to my um, caster, after it's baked it will also usually survive that trip. So I started um, detailing the face, or what's left of it. But uh, yeah, I'm still really only, or I'm still in the sketching phase here, really. Trying to get everything on track, and the layers of clothing. Started to detail some areas here. Uh, but yeah, I want to really work on, on texture and different textures. Is my audio fine, by the way? Type yes in chat if you can hear me, please. <laughs> Anyone? So, uh, the thing is you need to switch between well you have to switch your stream keys around oh thank you Wisborn yeah so with the switching because I also stream on Twitch. I'm never sure if everything goes well 
unfortunately there's no like preference stuff that you could uh, that you could do in OBS. So yeah, as I said, I think I'm going to make this a bit of a regular occurrence, maybe once a week, where I just keep you updated on everything that I did uh, that week, and this time I made a bit of progress. Uh, you might know this one from from last week's stream. I worked a bit on the design, so I think uh, I'll go some some heavy uh, sluggish armor that has some functionality. And yeah, I also started with the parts that cover his face, so it will have one here, and then it will get a larger face plate mm, that will cover his face. Or could cover his face, and I'm guessing I want to set it up as being open, uh, um, yeah, open able, if that's a word. So, yeah, that it could go up here, and then sort of like he's opening up and looking at something. Or you know, if you wanted to, you could also close it. So I'll make sure it fits into that. Uh, set up here yeah I made quite some progress off stream on this guy also I thought about doing a beard giving him a beard then what else um, gonna do this one on stream well not on stream but uh, for patron I am actually going to finish up the I uh, just have to clean a tiny bit and then painted for a patron. Also, I've been working on the other Tales of the Future pieces, so I gave this one hair. Uh, not too sure if I'm going to keep it like that. It looks a bit too clean, maybe. Um, ruffle it up a bit more. And then, also I have been redoing parts of, of her face. And also detailed the armor a bit more and also reworked the armor. Yeah, and that's it really. And then I also started this one. And that's what we're working on today. Um when the when you're on the wood base is that just straight pressure against the clay onto the wood that keeps it held? Um no there's I I have I'm uh, gonna show you somewhere. Mm. I'm drilling a hole and then I just stick in that a wire and then I go up and depending whether they have arms or not I add a another um, piece of, of wire. Usually you take um, a thinner one I think that's a higher gauge usually higher means slimmer I think and yeah then I just put that on as hands and if I don't have hands I just use aluminum foil for the body and uh, the main parts or the the main volumes so yeah It is actually held in place by by wire, and uh, yeah, you can see that there's some movement going on, and I just cover the wire with a piece of of clay so that it's more stable. Okay, so the next step is actually going to be working on the clothing before I move back to the face in that more detail.
and I have a few areas that are free hanging that I have been working on earlier so I'm actually waiting for them to dry out a bit so that they yeah so that I can work on top of them looks somewhat good on this side already uh, you have been gluing to your base wait do you mean like finished uh, busts? I'm not sure how you, how you would uh, glue that to your base you have to to give me a few more pointers there <laughs> Um, do I make any of my tools? Yeah, uh, there's a video about how I made this tool and all my other tools really or I'm talking about it, I'm not actually showing how I'm creating them but there's a video on my channel so this is just a brass rod that has been filed down and this is a, what's it called? Um, guitar string I made a rake tool out of guitar string and then I uh, for detailing and for texturing I have the uh, needle tool and then I have a few yeah stuff like that where you can just add scratches and random lines uh, I usually do that for skin wrinkled skin mm. <coughs> Sorry. Mm. No, I can't really find any other tools that I made myself at the moment. But there's a few more. Uh, I have one... Mm, really can't find it. Oh, I wonder where they are. But yeah, for sharper edges and all of that, I have a few different um, brass rods. But yeah, uh, making your own tools is pretty powerful if you have, uh, if you want to do certain things that you can't really do with standard tools, then you usually end up making your own tools eventually. And then I have a couple of those ball tools. I didn't make them myself, but they are pretty handy. Uh, basically the same you did with your bases, but I felt my full body figures moved too much, so I would glue them. I glued the wire around the holes and... Okay, I see. Yeah, you don't have to use guitar string, um, but it's really convenient, uh, especially for smoothing, just for blending uh, clay parts together, you can... Oh, where's all my tools? <laughs> I really need to... tool you can actually also just create a loop like this and then I just took a file and filed in um, some crevices or recesses I don't know the actual word just like that and uh, they can also blend parts together it's a bit more rough than the, re the rake tool with uh, guitar string but sometimes you know you just want the whole thing to be a bit rougher 
so that it blends easier. If you don't want to go and buy um, guitar string just for that purpose, this is more than enough really. But yeah, that's what it does. Like I said, it's a bit rougher than guitar string, but still works. Also, if I want to kind of take away material, this is also easier. Yeah. Again, this is more for the rougher treatment of clay, and the other one is for actually smoothing it. So before I go in with the turpentine, I usually uh, do this so that I have some, yeah, some smoother surface. And then you will sometimes see me go in and uh, yeah, do some detail like this. Uh, so these parts, I you can still see. the lines from the, the rig tool. That I use for smoothing. <laughs> it's actually pretty late for me today, but I thought I want to at least get in one hour sculpting on YouTube. So here we are. Uh, I'll get both sides to be about the same level. So cutting away a bit here. Sorry, by the way, if anyone was uh, tuning in before, that was a bit of a hiccup. I uh, was streaming on Twitch, but I still had the stream key for for you to put in. So it actually said I was going to stream, but then I didn't. <laughs> And I, I realized too late that it uh, already showed up on uh, on YouTube, so sorry for that. If any one of you was there before. And I wasn't. Okay, so um, need to fill some gaps here to minimize the movement of the clay. And usually once such gaps are filled, then next day uh, the clay is a lot more stable too. Sorry for that. 
think I hit my webcam by mistake a day or two ago and I only just noticed or remembered to put it back in a way that it actually shows something uh, but yeah this sculpt is pretty fun so far and I like the subject matter and it's somewhat similar to my zombie night But like I said, I just want to turn this into a priest or merchant type, like from Dark Souls, the Undead Merchants were the inspiration here, really. So that means I... Yeah, I have to, to do some detailing up here. This is like a turban or bandages. roughly going to stick to a pattern starting to detail this and I will also start to detail the helmet down here um, eventually but uh, first I want to to finish all this up here just in case I'm touching this by mistakes then any ornaments would really be destroyed. Uh, <laughs> please do something about sculpting women's, fa women's faces. Yeah, that's a, a good point. Also, it is not my strongest point. Uh, for some reason, I mean, women's faces, the thing is if you want to Uh, let's put it like that. Anytime you put any character into a woman's face, then it looks old. And um, for some reason, it is harder to sculpt faces that are, you know, like young. Um, yeah, so young females are the most difficult to sculpt for me, really. Anytime you can put a lot more character, like uh, older women and yeah, really old women are a lot easier, <laughs> and because they yeah they can have a lot more features and wrinkles. And anytime you add a wrinkle to a face like that, it starts to to look old and out of place. So yeah, it's really difficult. We'll see. I'll try to think of something that I can do <coughs> and then make a guide on how to sculpt women's, women's faces maybe and why they're so difficult uh, at least for me but yeah also male faces are for some reason easier for me to sculpt because it, it doesn't matter so much I think that they are maybe uh, wrinkled and torn, not torn, but um, sun scarred, or whatever. <laughs> it's really weird. I think the more we idealize youth and all of that in, in women, the, the weirder it gets when you actually sculpt them uh, because well every time you you kind of deviate from that from that vision uh, yeah it looks odd and throws people off I don't know I, I need to think about that a bit more but I think that's definitely a thing weird thing though and then next up um, 
um, my patrons have requested that I should sculpt a tutorial or that I should do a tutorial about how to sculpt uh, skulls so I guess I'll do that maybe beginning of next month <coughs> Yeah, also, thanks for hanging out, Time Love and Couture. I guess I'll also go for some free hanging stuff there. It's just going to be interesting how this is going to be castable. Probably have to cut it off like here. Oh, you can see that, sorry. Probably have to cut it off here. And then make maybe a round socket uh, that goes in. Um, my skulls are on point. Uh, thanks for the compliment. Yeah, I. Um, the thing is, there's a lot of skulls and also companies that create skulls for use on bases and all of that. Uh, but no one bothers to to really go into detail for. Yeah, I mean for conversions maybe. Um, and they they don't they really don't take care of the details and what should be in a skull and so on so yeah I definitely try to produce them as, as high as a quality I, I can aim for but yeah thanks again for the compliment uh, so I think I mean, this is just a test, but I think I'll I'll try to put in a rough texture here on on this part, sort of like this is the main clothing that's made out of he heavy cotton of wool rather. Sort of like this. And then yeah, I think that's going to work. And then make the the other parts of clothing a bit less textured and maybe smoother. Testing this, how this is going to look. But I think yeah, that's that should be should be good. Hey K H miniatures, how's it going? <laughs> oh, red piano, gotcha. Yeah, just doing my weekly um, YouTube stream where I keep people updated and answer questions and just show a bit of progress a bit of sculpting progress I actually don't even know how to how I would share my stream Does, uh, it doesn't even show me an, a URL. <laughs> I 
Huh. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, okay. There it is. Let's tweet it. Uh, for some reason, all my my social medias are pretty active, and I have a decent following. But Twitter just doesn't work for some reason. decent preview when has twitter ever worked yeah i don't know i kind of missed the um, the entrance to twitter <laughs> so uh kind of feels like a place where the hipsters go to me <laughs> at least no insults intended Yeah, I think that's gonna look fine. I need to still come up with um, apart from the texture, also with some patterns on how these folds are or this um, this material is going to fold up. You know, it's it's rather heavy. Yeah. Sorry, just. Kind of trying to find <laughs> a way to to deal with that at the moment. So I'm picturing ways to do that, and I'm spacing out. Hey J Skater, how's it going? Thanks again for your pledge on Patreon. Today was actually a pretty good day for Patreon. Um, got, I think, three more or four more uh, $10 pledges, and someone upgraded to a feedback pledge. I got like, one more $5 and one more $2 pledge, I think. So, pretty good turnout today. So putting in all that work into the, the the Joker PDF actually was worth it. Okay. Right, we have this overhanging stuff. Or clothing or tissue. Uh, thank you, Nayara. Did I pronounce it correctly? Thanks for your compliment. Oh, and thanks, Red. Yeah, it's um, the the artwork is not mine. It is from. Uh, Ukrainian sculpt, not sculptor, um, three, not 3D artist either. Um, 
how would you call it, character designer, <coughs> that allowed me to, wait, I need my OBS, that allowed me to use his artwork and turn it into a sculpt. So we will see if this is going to be commercially available. Um, I mean, he, he did allow me to, but we will see. I also need stickers for for the blisters that indicate his ownership and so on. It's correct. Okay. I'm glad I didn't butcher your name. Can be quite a challenge. I had um, a lot of non-native Austrian students during my <coughs> last school year, and the names were so different from from Austrian names, and they were pretty hard to pronounce. And they were always looking at me like, "Come on, teacher, <laughs> you still don't know how to pronounce the name." But there was just so many names. <laughs> okay, let's see. I usually tend to get lost. Uh, and run out of ideas for... <laughs> Uh, turbans or whatever you would call that uh, what grade level um, ten, 10 to 18 years 10 to 18 there is a school where you can just go to at the age of 10 and then you could go and uh, yeah do something else at the age of 15 but you can also stay like three more years and then you uh, get the uh, well the possibility to study I guess you acquire that in that school so yeah so I teach all those mm all those grades oh is there a name actually for that okay let's call it Santa's crown then I love the way European schools work, really. <laughs> oh yeah, there's... Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, he said he was Dark Souls inspired. So, it could... It's probably exactly that. Also, that's the, the first hint that I get. So, I will write that down. Hmm. I see. Is it a commission? Uh, no, it's not a commission. I just kind of felt like sculpting it. <laughs> Again, I saw that artwork and I, I loved it. The way it was composed and... Yeah, with that... Uh, crown just hanging over and almost falling down.
That was just something I really want to discover. And it's kind of funny how Yeah, how people went crazy for the new board game when people streamed it, when people painted it and streamed it to um, to the Dark Souls directory on Twitch, and then I did this, <laughs> which uh, yeah, it's just an, a Dark Soul inspired original skull, and I had one follower per day, <laughs> when others got like three hundred per day with just painting the board game. And that kind of bummed me out a lot on Twitch. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, do one more like that. Um, what kind of clay do I use? It is, it is uh, super sculpty firm. It is um, polymer clay. Oops. So this is the package. Comes in one pound packages usually. Yeah, it says oven back baked clay. That means you have to put it in in the oven for it to harden. And until you bake it, you can work on it for, I don't know, uh, at least a few months. Yeah, fig figuring out what is interesting for people is really, really hard. But I just generally feel on YouTube, you um, there's more interest for for art for just straightforward art or um, art and craft uh, on YouTube. People will also watch you if you're not the meme lord. And so on. Uh, what kept me out of doing art, not really into creating to sell commissions are one thing, but creating art to sell is just... I'm not sure I'm following. Um, oh, you mean what appeals to people and it's hard to, to actually find out what appeals and what not. Yeah, I get. I I think I get what you mean. There is always. I mean, the thing is, uh, with my original stuff, it's definitely harder to sell that, you know, than the Joker that <coughs> that I had. <coughs> I'm sorry. Give me a second. Sorry, um, my original art, well, I call it art, of course, we can call it whatever, but my original creations, um, <clears throat> it was harder to sell those than, for example, the, the Joker, that is some established IP, but obviously I'm feeling bad doing that and I want to get out of it. Or uh, at least not repeat that. <laughs> uh, but it's definitely a lot harder to sell original art.
haven't tried to boost to I haven't tried ping to boost posts on Facebook. Yeah, I did. Um it can be booked as um Huh, I don't know how you say that in English. Advertisement costs when you do your taxes, so I thought, well, whatever. Might as well try it. <clears throat> so I, yeah, boosted a few of them, mainly my patrons, patron posts. But, uh, I don't know, I didn't get much interaction. At least it got like two or three times less than the, the natural interactions, so I don't know. I mean, I guess it does show it to new people that are not actually already following you, so that could be a pro. Could be an argument for it. Yeah, but I don't know. It's just Facebook is just not really good for creators anymore because nothing goes viral anymore. Um, the way their algorithm works after I think a thousand uh, followers, you you just don't get the exposure anymore, and you have to pay, which kind of sucks. But that's uh, that's just how Facebook changed. I mean, I've been stuck. I mean, once I hit a thousand and a hundred, I think it was just super slow, and I think I'm now at a thousand six hundred followers, and it's going slow and slow and slow. <laughs> Yeah, tutorials and things like that. That's the stuff people will track. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, that's that's valid advice. Need to do um, a few free freebie bytes and boost that, and maybe not do the uh, not do exclusively the, the Patreon stuff. But yeah, I mean, Shoshi is definitely the queen of social media. <laughs> With her, I don't know, 12k followers. On Facebook, that's pretty. That's pretty nuts. I think she, she did start posting on the Discord, right? It's kind of nuts how fast an hour goes by. Oh, and sculpting. So have you guys been watching the Defenders at all on Netflix? I think I just saw uh, episode four, and I'm still kind of. Hmm. I mean, like I said earlier, I 
I'm super forgiving to anything that Marvel does. We'll see, I still have to warm up to to this one. The new Punisher series, yeah, true. The one with the team of superheroes, yeah, it's kind of like um, street level Avengers. But the Iron Fist and Daredevil and Luke Cage and uh, Jessica Jones. Series to watch, and the superior stuff hasn't been high on my priorities. I see. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I'm I'm like I said I'm I'm a sucker for all the the Marvel stuff, and even though I wasn't super entertained by Iron Fist, for example, still watched it, <laughs> and it was uh, somewhat entertaining. Don't get me wrong. But my, my favorite is still the first season of, of Daredevil that just felt super fresh and yeah new in a way I guess. So this tool has the advantage that I can use the front to get sharp lines and then as I move back to the more rounder areas I can also set up folds with it and actually just dragging it over without a lot of aim um, creates some interesting features. Yeah, Daredevil is good. I really like the first season. People didn't like the second season that much, but um, I mean, while it was a bit weaker, I still liked it quite a lot. I didn't understand it. Flashing back to rendition and never watched the one. Sorry, I didn't, don't understand. <laughs> but I'm also rather tired already. So yeah guys, any more questions that I can quickly answer? Gonna do about five minutes more. Oh. 
Okay. <laughs> Probably been asked a ton, but is that Scaltic better toxic or are they general toxic to touch? Um, apparently not. It's what I get told everywhere. So uh, they have they have a notice that the clays contain ingredients that may stain or damage finish, finished surfaces. And what they actually refer to is, is plastic. So if I left uh, this on here, then by tomorrow there will be a, a hole in that plastic of this size. Um, yeah, so... Uh, protect finish... Do, 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 hold on. Do not place unbaked clay on furniture, flooring, carpeting or fabric. Protect finished surface by using unbaked polyform clay products on a glass or metal surface. Use a disposable foil or wax paper beneath your work. Yeah, there's just, just uh, notices to take care of, of surfaces. <laughs> no, no real notice to being hazardous to to health. So I want to believe them. And I hope it's true. I mean it's basically the same thing that fem that you would get for FEMO or what's the other thing? Um god damn it, heard it earlier. Uh, what's the smallest figure size you'd sculpt before going to say? Uh, I mean, technically, I mm, I don't have it here. I can show you next time on stream. Remind me. I just can't go over to the other room because my girlfriend is asleep. I don't want to wake her. But I have a 28mm sculpt that is really delicate and has a lot of detail and is also in... Uh, in actually it's a mixture of super sculpy firm and um and fimo but yeah 28 is, is still fine to work with it's just a lot more delicate and you have to really just use a tiny layer of of underlying epoxy clay But yeah, and, uh, and I don't do anything, anything smaller really. I mean, I'm guessing 18 or 50 millimeter or whatever that scale is that, for example, Flames of War is in. That would be kind of annoying to do in that uh, material. But yeah, I, I, in general, I don't do that scale, so. 28 is that's it really <laughs> I won't really go below um, but yeah like I said I oh wait actually give me a second uh, where's my gallery Uh, so there's this one thing. So that's a 28 millimeter scale dwarf, and he's uh, what's the actual size? I said it's 20, 25, but that's probably including the whole base. So that's uh, about two, well, let's say two and a half millimeters, uh, centimeters tall. Sorry. So just about an inch, and it's already rather tiny. <laughs> but yeah, to be fair, I I used the to, I did the axe in epoxy clay, but the rest is just normal polymer clay. 
and then there is uh, one more I mean those are all yeah those are 32 millimeter so a tiny bit larger but still you can get pretty good detail out of it